Hey, yeah, what's up, everyone? Big Black Love here, as you probably know. Well, yesterday was my birthday, and I'm 30 years old. Yay! Don't really feel no different. Other than a third of my life's probably over. But hey, what can you say, right? It's been one hell of a long trip as it is, so I got one hell of a long trip to go. But, uh, yeah, so... Actually went out and bought a couple more kits yesterday. Um, birthday money. I had to, right? I mean, come on. I had to actually go buy something for my birthday. Can't just spend my birthday money on everyday food and gas and stuff. It doesn't work that way. And uh, I got a kit in a few days ago. I've been waiting to have something else or, you know, some sort of video to show. I'm just going to pop up and be, hey, I got a kit. Here you go. Boobly. So... And then, um, I got one of my packages from Tokyo. Um, they actually weren't supposed to be here till like, a week to three weeks, according to eBay. But, uh, one showed up yesterday. It was the first one I ordered that I made a mistake. I just hit the buy button and I paid for it instead of looking to make sure there was nothing else from them. And since I'd already paid, they weren't going to combine the shipping with the other four items I bought. So, I got those. I'm expecting either today or maybe next week or the week after that or the week after that. I'll get the bigger package from Tokyo. And then, um, Atomic Dog 32. Uh, hooked it up. I mean, I paid him to hook it up, but, uh, yeah, he, uh, showed me an ad in Craigslist, uh, down there in Arizona in his neck of the woods, and, um, yeah, almost made me want to drive to Arizona, find the guy that actually put the ad out and kill him and take all his models. Let's just put it that way, because it was unbelievable, the pictures. This guy must have bought a storage unit from either a collector or a freaking hobby store because it had like 10 or 12 of every kit that he had and he had kits that are like super hard to come by or just plain expensive kits or like wow where the hell did that come from those are non-existent so uh, I picked the three that I were really 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 been looking for and um Ended up paying about 60 bucks a piece after paying for the kits, the shipping, and giving my boy, uh, Brian Atomic Dog, some gas money and some money for himself. Because, you know, he has a life. He actually works. And um, I'm not going to ask someone to do something for free for me. Especially when they got to drive across town to go pick it up for me. And then go back home, box it up, and then go back to wherever to ship the damn thing. So... Um, yeah, you know, I'm respectful like that. When I ask someone to go buy me something, I actually pay them for their time. And, uh, just FYI, I'm not saying nothing to you, Brian. Um, I'm just saying out there general, I've had a lot of idiots, uh, wanting to buy my kits for less than what they cost at the hobby store, and then act all fucking douchebag towards me when I expect five or ten bucks for my time, plus what it's going to cost to ship it to them. And the price of the kit. Like, I don't remember the name, but uh, this douchebag freaking asked me for a van. And I was like, 50 bucks. Don't really want to sell one, but you want one 50 bucks. They cost $26. It's going to cost me $13 to ship it. And I want 10 bucks if you want one. And then freaking his fiance gets on, starts cussing me out, saying I'm trying to screw him over and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, hey, look. You got money, go buy your freaking own. Why the hell are you trying to bug me for my shit? I'm not a fucking hobby store. I mean, I have a hobby store, but I ain't out to sell the shit. So, uh, to all the dumb people out there who think they can get kits for less than what they are, that's for you. And, yeah, so anyways, I just want to get that off my chest. Because that shit, a couple people really freaking pissed me off with, they get all freaking testy, but it just really makes me want to drive to their front doorstep and knock their fucking teeth out. 
But, uh, sorry for the language for the few younger guys out there. <clears throat> but, yeah, I had to get that off my chest. So, yeah, anyways, um, and, you know, of course, my boy hooking me up and, you know, just made me rethink of that even more. So, anyways, um, I picked myself up another one of these double dragster kits. Um, you know, the other one's probably going to be parts or, you know, bills. I mean, those are some awesome kits. You can do so much different stuff. You can probably buy three or four of those double kits of both, all the double kits that are out there, and you can never build the same car twice, just with the parts that are there alone. And, um, yeah, I screwed myself a long time ago. Um, I sent off, traded my last 58 Impala that I had, um, and then Michael's quit carrying them for the coupon deal. So I had to go pick me up one because I've been want, really wanting to build another 58. These are such nice, clean, easy builds. It's just great. I like them. I kind of want more, but I don't want to pay full price for them. But like I said, these were my birthday presents yesterday with birthday money. And um, I got this in the mail. Um, I believe I only paid $30 for it. And it is factory sealed. Uh, the box is a little squished. But most of these import kits are pretty small, so it's not like there's a huge damage, so it should be fine. And uh, here's my first thing from Tokyo. It's the driver set. I actually got two of them. Um, <clears throat> that was basically enough to make the chick standing up, the chick down, and the two different guys sitting. So there's four figures. I uh, want to say I think I paid like 18 bucks maybe and here's the little garages that Dr. Cranky were talking and showing about and there's a tool package and then there's the mechanic guys now I got one of those mechanic guys coming in the next set but I was not sure about the garages so I didn't buy any from them but um yeah, same with the tools. I didn't really need the tools and all that stuff. So, but I needed people because I cannot scratch. There's a couple guys on the forums that can scratch. You know, obviously they're copying like something like this, and then they're modifying it and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. They can make their own people. Yeah, I maybe in the future, not right now. So I bought some. And oh my God, I've been wanting one of these kits ever since I was a little kid. I swear, I think I actually had. Now, I might be wrong here. No, I'm not. There is a Richard Petty Superbird. And that is the only Richard Petty's car I have ever had. It was when I was a kid, and of course I smashed it, so I don't have it anymore. And I believe it's a 69 or 70 Superbird on Plymouth. I believe. I believe. I believe. Don't quote me. I believe. I'm not really into NASCAR anymore. I was when I was a kid. But anyways. Um... The king will always live in my eyes. Richard Petty, he was just uh, one of the coolest racers in my time. At least I think so. He was my favorite. I know there was a lot of good guys back then. Don't get me wrong. But I got the number 43 Pontiac. I want to say it's like an 85, 6, or 7, somewhere in there. Mid to late 80s Pontiac Grand Prix. Um... The decals are even on. I was a little worried about the box shape and it being open. I don't, I'm not going to use these decals, but I am going to copy the colors. I don't know. I have to do some research because I thought it was a little bit more orange color than what it, I mean, the decals show. So, but, um, yeah, that's, oh my God, I'm so happy. I've been wanting a freaking Richard Petty car forever. Um, and I actually found, um, I don't remember the name of them, but there was a series of the um, late 80s NASCARs. I don't know how many of them there were in the series, but I got three. I have a Pontiac, a Monte Carlo, and a Buick coming. And they're all pretty much the same body style year-ish as that Petty kit. So, okay, and now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, 
Well, at least I've been waiting for it to show you because I know a couple guys are gonna crap their pants. Um, yeah, once again, thank you, Atomic Dog, very much. You the man. And yeah. All right. So <clears throat> we'll start off with the one that's like most seen, but still pretty spendy. Um, I've actually seen it a couple times since I had him get me this one for fifty dollars. But then you got shipping, and it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I paid for this one, and they're and they're open, not sealed. These were sealed, but I opened them because it's gonna be so hard to get more of these that, and I'm gonna build them, so it don't matter. And it, the first one is the Peter Bill Wrecker. Um, he actually had the other one too. I don't know. I don't, I wasn't specific. I don't know if there's a big difference between this and the older version. As far as I know, it's the same truck, different decals. But I've seen this one. I wanted this one, and it's awesome. There's so many parts in here. It's gonna take so long to build this. So long. Um, I was going to say somewhere how many parts are in there. I mean, there's a lot of small parts in here for a big rig. Yeah, I don't really see where it says how many parts are in here. I should really look this stuff up before I make a video so I don't have to make you guys wait. So I'm going to stop looking. All right, now number two. I don't know which one's cooler. Well, well, which one you guys think is cooler, so I'm just going to. Uh, John Deere. 310 backhoe loader. Uh, these go for like 100 bucks to 150 bucks. Uh, they're always in a bidding war, starting at like 75 to 100 bucks. And I've tried several times, and every time I just get outbeat. They're just, when they come up and they're available, people want these. Apparently, you know, I mean, it's the World Wide Web, so there's got to be people out there that like equipment, the big rigs. I mean, if you like big rigs and hauling stuff, theoretically, you got to have a low boy with a backhoe or some sort of heavy equipment on it as a diorama truck, right? I mean, come on, that's, you see that every day on the freeway. <clears throat> And the holy grail that I've been looking for and really, 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 really wanting for a low boy trailer to go behind one of my semis is a bulldozer. And this kit, I want to do a review on. Because each individual one of those cleats for the tracks is an individual piece. Yeah, seriously. It actually, supposedly... Rolls and moves on its own. Well, not on its own, but you push it and the tracks move and they're plastic. And there's like one, two, three, four, like a hundred pieces per side. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of tracks pieces. But, um, this thing is going to look awesome when I learn how to weather proper. And I put this thing with some rusty chains on the back of an old rusty beat up flatbed behind a brand new pretty big rig. Ooh! It's got the styrene juices flowing in my brain. So, that's it for now. I do apologize for the rant at the beginning, but I had to get that off my chest because, you know, I mean, I'd be happy to help someone out, but I'm not going to do it for free, and I'm certainly not going to lose money. And. Especially when I say in my video, I bought these to build or for collection. You know, it's not like, hey, I just picked this up because it's cheap. If anyone wants to buy it, you know, let me know. I don't think I say that in any of my videos, do I? Yeah, so, I mean, someone wanted to pay me $20 for the van. I paid, the cheapest one I paid for was $23.95. And they wanted to give me $20 for a period because it's $20 on the internet. Yeah, pay your uh, anywhere from 8 to $15 shipping. And sit and wait for it. Peace.